Losers finals. So whoever uh, wins this, have they fought uh, each other this tournament yet? I don't, I don't think, think so. this tournament. No, no. because uh, Cyrus was making was making like the the gauntlet. The, winners, the, yeah. the gauntlet. Yeah. I don't know. Did Eon uh, fight Eon Void? Eon fought Void in semis. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, both of these two will have an opportunity to have a run back. Looks like. Yeah. And uh, looks like we're going straight to the Meta Knight here. Eon with the Joker. Um, definitely looking like Eon kind of going between both this tournament. Going, mm -hmm. you know, I, I feel like I've seen like 50 50. Okay. Yeah. Because the most, what I've been seeing usually, like the past couple of MSMs at least, is that he'll flow chart into like just use Joker all the way through. And then if he's down to last game or something like that, then he'll switch to Fox. But it uh, looks like he's been using both. So a little bit more versatile this time around. Yeah. And Joker, very. S not super similar to Fox, but you can definitely play very nimble, quick, whip punish heavy, yeah. great dash attack. Joker just being able to weave in and out of a lot of people's range and just come back in. Yeah. Um, that you can definitely do, and Fox can do that well. Joker can do that as well. All right, Arsene is out. Not too much damage on Cyro so far, but he's, st he's not scared of Arsene at all. He's just like, okay, you know what? You're still at the ledge, though, so I'm oh. going to keep you off stage for as long as possible. That one down throw, wow, that was so clean. That Arsene recovery is pretty trash, and yeah. uh, Cyro definitely abusing that. But you saw that down throw with, like, down throw with the three pummels literally took half of Arsene's meter. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, because that multi-hit, like, any multi-hit throws, and, like, Meta Knight's one is just, like, brrr, like it's just so much hits. Mm -hmm. Okay, using take aim to you know force out a low recovery. I mean, if you just take aim downwards like at the ledge, it's like such a good move to prevent yep. people from grabbing the ledge. Yeah, I mean, uh, it just it's disjointed. You don't, you're not really committing. You're just committing like right above the edge. So very low committal, and I mean, not much reward in terms of damage, but you can snipe out double jumps and all sorts of things and get very, very creative games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you can decide to drift back downwards and go in with another aerial or something afterwards. So this is a very versatile move. I think I heard Morgana. I think I heard one too. Yeah. I, I, heard, I heard Morgana come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Unless unless there's some secret tech to get Morgana out without without taunting, but yeah, I don't think that exists yet. All right. So Eon busting out the projectiles. He knows um, he wants to get as much out of Arsene, but he doesn't want to like rush into it. So mm -hmm. he's trying to get some chip damage. All right. What's the option? Okay, that was lucky that uh, he didn't get the the up smash. That would have been like very juicy Rebels guard for oh, Eon. Yeah. And that's the thing, man. When when you when you drain out an Arsene, it's like, how is Joker going to get a kill? He's either going to F smash you or he's going to get a very solid Rebel Guard. Yeah. So those are like the two main things that when Joker is behind, that can get him back into the game. Mm -hmm. So th those are th definitely things you got to watch out for. And uh, I mean, oh, there's no tech. And once again, the, the, the uh, wow. Yeah, okay. tried to do the backside of down smash again. Didn't quite get the kill. Now Arsene's back. So yeah. very dangerous situation for both of these players, actually. Either one of them can. See all the stock. Another missed tech, but oh no! It oh missed. no! Yeah, that was really weird. I'm very surprised. The up, the out of shield will have the range and the kill power to scoop Eon right up into the skies and yeah. a very, very solid lead here for Cyro. Trying to get this offstage situation going, but he continues the ledge trap. Is that the double jump? No, but this could be it. The air dodge. I don't think he can make it in the drill <laughs> downwards. Okay. Just cause, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really nice. Uh, I feel like more people should try to challenge the. What is it called? The grappling hook yeah. like recovery? Because uh, he is vulnerable during that time. If you can send him back farther, then it's starting to be easy picking. You can kind of see what kind of angle he's going at, too. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a very textbook definition of how you should edgeguard Joker without Arsene as well from yeah, and, Cyro. And you, you saw Cyro had to edgeguard him twice. There's two reps. He had to, because when you, the first up B off stage with Joker, you get a little boost upwards. Mm -hmm. So he hit that. And then he hit the double jump. And yeah. after he hit those two resources, it was a wrap. Mm -hmm. And you know, Cyro has the multiple jumps as Meta Knight. He has the lingering neutral air to kind of catch these options. And just a very, very well displayed way of edgeguarding Joker. And now we see that and we see the Fox come out. But yep. just like Joker, Fox can uh, definitely get edgeguarded. Mm -hmm. uh, just as hard, if not harder. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see how it goes down though. Yeah. Because so far, Cyro hasn't been able to touch Eon, so. Oh yeah, and right right now, Eon definitely. Oh dang, we uh we wave landing too, <laughs> man. You, you definitely know someone feeling themselves when they're just like casually like wave landing on yeah. platforms and stuff. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. Sorry. Ooh, try to get the punish there, not quite. I like that attempt to try to get uh, Rar Dare to send him into the semi spike situation yeah. and continue downwards with either more dares or a back air or something like that. Not quite gonna work out, and I looked away and he you got lost the back the air. There. Yeah, you okay. got the, the classic Fox back air. I mean, mm -hmm. pretty much uh, old reliable since Smash Four for Fox. Not as safe in this game, but still very good. You're gonna pretty much use it mostly in the corner. Yeah, hey uh, man, it's been useful since Melee. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> melee back air? Oh, yeah, give man. That. Give me that. I'll, dude, if Fox had melee back air, dude, Fox would be off stage all day. Yeah, totally. Oh, oh wow. The up air chains, though. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting a little feisty with the short in there. And that's, that's one thing I really like about uh, Fox side B in this game. Um, it has a lot more startup, so it's a lot easier to react to. But you do, it, it did come with mix ups. So mm -hmm. it was like a nerf slash buff kind of thing. Yeah. That was good uh, spacing from Cyro, just staying right outside the range of dash attack and goes in with the forward smash. Ooh, but oh. a dimension of cape. Eon's ready for it. Yeah, and that was a hard call out from Eon because he could have swung there and mm -hmm. beat him out. But Eon was just like, he saw the dimensional cape, he's like, I know you're not swinging. Yeah. Oh, there's a down tilt, and oh, down tilt, bear, down tilt. So clean, and oh, and Ooh, there's the, the parry. Tilt. Yeah. Look, this was. That was a neutral exchange and a parry, 85%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My boy Fox spits damage out for, not for free. You got you to be able to execute. <laughs> but dang, man, Eon makes it look so darn easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of Fox's moves are so fast that usually after a parry, you're guaranteed to get a free hit. You can at yeah. least get uh, an up tilt because it's frame three and then you're plus three after parry as well. So that's just a free hit no matter what. Another back air yep. just flew out of there, popped that balloon. Oh, yeah, and that's one thing. If you're playing Fox and you are not, like, at least trying to work on your pairing, like, obviously, like, you're just not going to start off godlike, being godlike at pairing. But Fox has one of the best, if not the best, out of parry game. Like, mm -hmm. you can parry something and get so much value out of your quick tilts that usually combo into other things. So if you're playing Fox and you're not trying to get better at pairing, Newsflash, you, you kind of got it. Or yeah. you don't have to, but, like, it'll definitely benefit you in the long yeah. run. Yeah, well, if you just watch all the top foxes, then, like... They're all pairing. Yeah, they're all pairing. Like, Light will parry, like, four times in a row or something like that. Yeah. Or Eon parries, like, every other move in the game. Yeah, and it's, it's very important. And one thing I really like about Eon is he's mixing up. Now, down air is not the most consistent move, but, no, oh, he's still going. Look at this. The dash attack Nair strings already 70%. And we're still going, man. And Eon starting off this game number three, just like game number two, man. Cyro just kind of seems like he can't get a get any momentum going for him on this first stop. Yeah. He just kind of got blown up and then just started taking him to an already dangerous percent. Now we got the ledge traps going in. Wow, he really wanted to go in with something, too. Yeah, Cyro had no double jump there. He hit him out, mm -hmm. out of the ledge drop double jump. So Eon definitely wanted to hit him with the secondary Nair. <laughs> I like how Cyro decided to hold it just a bit longer. He's like, okay, try and punish this, please. Please come in. <laughs> Not quite, though. Almost gets the Nair up smash. But Sakurai combo, no, doesn't quite get it. Tries to go for the Nair into the up smash. But Cyro definitely diligently holding shield. But going right into Eon's shield right there in the up smash out of shield will be quick enough to get that punish. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried to get an empty hop down tilt. Still trying to go for it. He knows he can get a lot of mileage out of it, like we said before. Dang, I thought he was going to go for a third pair drag down. I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the forward tilt. Does he pull the trigger on the edge guard? No, Eon just very, very respectfully holding onto the edge, getting this ledge trap. Okay, double jump to the ledge here. Oh, the He's side dead. B. Yeah. Yeah. That move is so strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people will say, I think you mentioned earlier, limit cross slash yeah. from Smash 4. <laughs> very reliable. You don't even need limit for it. Oh, wow. Calls out the missed tech. Dude, if he had rage, that might have killed, especially on stadium as well. Yeah, against a character like Fox, both yeah. fast fall and light. But let's he, see here. He almost got like a soft nair in the forward smash. Would have been so cool. Mm -hmm. um, on that uh, no tech on the platform. Very, very crafty stuff coming out from Neon. Forces the up. He pump faked him too. He acted like he was going to commit off stage. Went back on the stage. Almost catches Cyro slipping. But Cyro able to very gracefully drift to the ledge and not get hit by a force. Yeah, he like waved back just very slightly. You can yeah. see like the slight tilt in the in Roy's trajectory. And then he was actually able to get around that. That was so cool. Uh, careful from Cyro. Yeah, but the up air will hit, find its mark here for Eon, taking the second stock from Cyro. But the reverse attack cancel up air? Question mark. I mean, wow, that was very, very crafty coming out from Cyro, and he reacted to that di in mm -hmm. the up and in di. Uh, Eon trying to trip him up, but Cyro just letting him know, man, I, I got the reactions on deck. Right. Oh, try to go in for something there with the double jump. Try to be sneaky around Eon's aggression. Not quite though. Gonna have to recover low. And I love the down air mix-ups. Now, 9 out of 10 times, Fox will land on you with Nair. But Eon is also mixing in those down airs just in case Cyro goes for a parry. Mm -hmm. you, you parry that down air, it's not going to work because it's just very quick uh, multi-hits. And, man, Eon is on this man. He's not giving him any breathing room. Mm -hmm. uh, another opportunity. Doesn't quite get it. 
Oh, there's the air dodge, but the up air barely missing. There's the nair. Does he get the tech chase? No. Cyro gonna go away. <laughs> he's pressing so many buttons right now, but he's getting away with it just fine because Cyro has to be extremely careful. He has to pick his battles wisely if he wants to try and take this next stock and take the game too. He's being put in a position where he has to make the absolute guaranteed situation. Oh, wow, Eon just... Uh, yeah, kind of kind of messed up that punch there. Maybe yeah. just not expecting it. Oh, Definitely no down not smash out of... It. No down smash out of shield there. Man, Eon just trying to play very, very safe. He he knows that he's got the full tank of rage. He cannot get put off stage. Even one time off stage could mean death here for this boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like if you get like t maybe 20 more percent, like a jab to the back air, that could be death for Fox right now. But let's see. Oh, he gets in there. Eon had so many opportunities. Even the spot dodge on that dash grab could have been an up smash. <laughs> Man, that's so scary when you miss a tech and then Fox is just standing there yeah. trying to wait for something. Oh, but he finally catches the up air. And I feel like Eon was playing a little bit too scared that last stock. Like, he had a lot of opportunities for the stock, but he just didn't take it because I feel like he was playing more not to get hit or not to die rather than getting the stock. You yeah. Know, you you want to always have a good mix. But he, I mean, he closes it out nonetheless, but that was looking really scary because, like I said, man, that, that max rage on Roy particularly, one jab at, like, 60% by the edge could mean your life. I mean, I remember in, in Smash 4, I used to tell people, it's like, okay, even though you have, like, 100% lead, just just pretend you'll die at, like, any second. Like, just because, you know? Yeah. It helps It helps a lot with, like, being careful and then keeping your mental game up as well so you don't get lax. So I, I feel like maybe he you was know, thinking that, like, okay, I could literally die to anything if I'm, like, unlucky right here, so... Oh, yeah. Definitely worked out for him. Oh, man, the drag down, the combo game. And Eon showed us that he has the combo game with Fox, but, man, he's also got it on the Joker as well. Very nice Rebel Guards mean the, the Arsene is going to come out a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Man, does he even need it? Look at this, man. He's doing such a good job with non-Arsene Joker. Uh, neutral B? Oh, no, he doesn't quite get all the hits. I think he was looking for it, but he kind of like... very close. Yeah, very he close. was very greedy for it. Yeah, and I, I think Eon kind of like switches the eye like kind of up and in towards the end there as well. Yeah. So... Maybe Cyro just kind of thought, like, oh, he's going to keep the eyeing out. But mm -hmm. really, really good switch up coming out from Eon. But here comes Arsene, and you thought you were having trouble against this joke. Oh, yikes. Eon getting very, very greedy for the kill there. Um, goes Going for the downer, which is a very, very good setup. But kind of just Cyro doing a really good job of catching his landing with a kill move, man. Yeah. There was plenty of time to space around and react to it, and then Cyro just said, okay, you're going to try to dare me. And he hit right underneath the platform, too, so it was like, okay, I'm not going to get hit as long as I don't run in towards underneath him. So Very great position coming yeah. out from Cyro. And, I mean, forward smash, a very low committal uh, smash attack, very similar to, like, some of Wolf's, or all of Wolf's uh, <laughs> smash attacks. Yeah. Very, uh, has high startup, but not a lot of end lag, and here comes the oppression on this Arsene recovery. Not a good recovery whatsoever. At this point, he probably might want the Arsene out of here, but very great angle coming mm -hmm. out from the Fox, you know? Yeah. I even like how he did uh, Yeehaw to uh, cover himself as he was trying to get back to a ledge, too. That way, Cyro had to wait just a little bit longer. That allowed him to get back to the stage. And another forward smash is going to close it out here for Cyro. And, I mean, the Joker didn't really work out game one. Down smash, not going to connect. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, maybe Meta Knight being a little too much of a fast faller there. But, man, I mean, we might see the swift switch to Fox here unless... Young and maybe pull off this comeback. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see because this was the exact same situation before like, uh, against Void. Cyro had like a three stock to one lead in game four, and then he almost dropped it. And yeah. So we'll see what Eon does. But right now, he's got Arsene back. Let's see. He's been getting a lot of mileage off of Arsene, especially on this match during game nine. So let's see if he can maybe even close the stock or get really close to it. But the important thing is Cyro brought the Arsene out before he died. Mm -hmm. So because of that, even just hanging on the Angel platform, he burned like a good third of the Arsene. Came back in, got a rapid jab or two, and look at this. Now Arsene is completely out of the game um, and already at 100%, not even halfway for the next Arsene. Cyro looking really, really good to solidly take this game number four. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, wow, they killed. <laughs> that DI okay. was sus off the top there. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, probably just didn't expect to get hit by it. Uh, that's the most, yeah. for the most part, most people don't want to DI the move like trash. Mm -hmm. They just, like, it just hit them and they're probably doing some other kind of input or trying to input their next neutral uh, input and stuff like that. So, just like that, Cyro will take game number four. Of, uh, do you think the Fox is coming out for game five, man? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Oh, right hey, there, wow, yeah. wow. oh the Krom's coming out too, though. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and um, I, I like the I like the switch up. If, if you have a Roy... You probably have a Krom, to be honest. Probably. 
probably, or you yeah, should. Yeah, 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 you, <laughs> you definitely should. <laughs> because, I mean, the two characters are uh, very similar, but they they also aren't. Um, but they're very similar to the point where you should be able to play both of them. You know, mm -hmm. there, there's some major parts like the sword properties are a big one and the up B, pretty much the two main things that are different about this character. But man, Eon does not care. He is still clocking in and just like that, 110% on this prom. Catch the landing? No! But the back air does seal it out. That dash attack was probably an up smash, but I mean, he, he recovered it with the back air to follow. Yeah. Those Kalos platforms can be a little bit annoying to get around. So, oh, my God. Oh, you are dead. And it's so worth for the stock trade. What a way to start off this game number five. Not even 40 seconds in, two stocks off the board for Syro. And so <laughs> Eon wants it all. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're going to see the Krom again for a little while. <laughs> At least against Eon because he looks like he's very comfortable in this matchup in particular. But, yeah. The Kalos in... Kalos is a, kind of a difficult stage sometimes against characters with not the best uh, drift or like a horizontal recovery because uh, you try to retreat to ledge when you're trying to land and you know the platform's in the way so you can get free back airs as a character like Fox or Wolf or something like that. Amazing DI slash SDI coming out from Neon off that first initial hit. This got sent straight to the right. That's what you want to do against the Krom up B. Oh man, and we see this pressure. Eon has all has the lead, has everything to work with, but he's still the one putting up this pressure. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Cyrus got to figure out a way to try and take the stock. Oh, oh no, never mind. Call out. Are you going to do nothing? No jump, no air dodge.